If you want to go to the top of the file in Vim, most people would do GG. Some people, if they're really good, will do 999K. But there's actually another way that's even better, and that is just Geo. Now, you might be asking, like, that's the same amount of keys, right? Why is that better? And half of you will see immediately, the other half not so much. It's because pressing the same key twice is ergonomically inferior to pressing two different keys, in most cases. So pressing Geo is just faster than repeating a single key. This is like so much the case that people will even say they have something and they want to delete a line. Most people will do DD, but some people who are really serious about ergonomics will do capital VD because it's like two different things. Now, that's like using another modifier, right? And because you're using shift to press the, the capital the V, the visual line. And for Geo, you don't even have to do that at all. But there is some like variation depending on what keyboard layer you're using. For both Colmac DH and QWERTY, um, G and O occur on separate fingers, so that's all good. So just typing Geo is faster in basically every case than typing GG. Now Geo also does have a couple of other things that come with it. Technically what it's doing is going count bytes into a file. So you can prefix it with like four, and then you can see I'll end up on this fourth letter. But you won't always go character by character. And here's an example of that. So if I have two emojis, if I delete the top here, and I want to go like, let's say, 3GO, you can see I'll stay on that emoji, and that's because in UTF-8 encoding, each emoji is four bytes. UTF-8 goes up to four bytes, and there's a hierarchy. I think it's like all the Latin characters are going to be one byte each, so you'll go character by character per the count you prefix GO with and then like the Cyrillic and the Greek characters maybe are like two, and then I think like the Chinese and maybe Arabic are three, and then beyond that you get emojis. Geo, it's just a drop-in replacement for GG, super common command, it's just like more ergonomic basically in every sense. It probably will take some time to get rid of the GG muscle memory, just because it's so ingrained, but I've switched over. I'm pretty much never going to use the prefix feature of it except for like super weird scenarios where I'm like modifying binary or something, but I don't know. Alright, so the next one is G question mark, which Caesar ciphers the text you select or pass through it. So do G question mark, it rotates everything forward uh, by 13 letters in the alphabet. Now why would you want to use this? Because otherwise you're having to do it on like a Caesar cipher online thing and then you're pasting back and forth and it's just like such an ergonomic headache. In all seriousness though, like I guess this could be useful if you have to share your screen with someone and I don't know, you you just want to like make it quickly hide some environment variables or something. Like I'm not really sure why this is a built-in feature, but it is. You can also do it kind of like GQQ like wrap stuff. I mean, that's too short, but you can do like G question mark question mark and then it'll do like one line or I don't know like G uppercase uppercase you know like that another one many people don't know about is you can actually go and travel by your changes you can do G and then semicolon that'll take you back to the last change so you can see it'll jump me back there and then G comma will take you like backward it will take you forward in the change list sorry and um, yeah, those are sometimes pretty useful. So G semicolon, I can keep going backward. The change list is a little bit confusing to traverse sometimes because it's not always like the most memorable thing compared to like the jump list. And you can also prefix these. You can do like three G and then semicolon. And you can also see all the changes, all the jump places by typing changes and you can see like what columns and whatnot and like what text was changed. So you can see if I add something else, like test, and then let's let's even add something else. So go like that, and then I do G semicolon. Oops, I pressed something else. It'll go back there and then go back there and then G comma. You can traverse like that. So yeah, that one is interesting to know about. I think a lot of people miss that one. I didn't know about it. Uh, but yeah, there you go. Three kind of weird, but and also There you go. I'll see you next time